the almost 20 years that you and I have known each other, this has never happened. These the, uh, pictures by Still are just not in the marketplace. But this, in a way, when you stand here and they're all around us, is quite a moment. I think it's a rare opportunity and a rare moment to see uh, right in front of your eyes the career of one artist. You know, going from 1940 to 1976. And it's hard for me to sort of say which really is my favorite because in a way they're all discoveries. Well, I think the 1976 picture is going to be a revelation to a lot of people. I mean, still really didn't exhibit these works very much at the end of his life. Most of the exhibitions occurred in the 50s and early 40s. So I think this is going to be a really eye-opening moment for people to see uh, that this artist was had full facilities from for a 40-year period. He was older than all the other abstract expressionists, wasn't he? Yeah, you know, there's always these myths about him being on the outside of the, of the community, etc., which are really, you know, somewhat false. I mean, he came to New York really almost 50 years old, mm -hmm. you know, and there he was de Kooning, and there was Klein, and there was Rothko, who all thought he was the most unique. I find that very emotional pictures. Oh, yeah. There's an intensity to them that you're not prepared for, but then also the truth of the matter is you rarely see this grouping. I mean, this yeah. is like a real opportunity for us to stand in a room to have them surround you. I think that Dean Sobel, the director of the museum who made ultimately the selection of these pictures, did a very good job in sort of showing who still is as an artist, because in a way we are almost doing an exhibition job of showing the art and oh. showing the art to a global community. And I think he's very well represented in the development and the depth of his career. I, of course, you know, never met Still, but he seemed to me to be a perfect example of an artist who was very assured of himself in the sense of what he wanted his paintings to be and where he wanted them to be. Oh, I think he had very, very clear uh, idea of the work he wanted to make. Yes, he came as a fully formed artist. Totally. Mm -hmm.